Hello there, welcome back to uh, France, I'm better than Napoleon. Currently we are in kind of a quiet period where I am more or less just uh, saving up points, if you will, for the, uh, well, cheaper cause, if you will. And that is, of course, what we're going to keep on doing. I'm also going to be fabricating claims on Russia to prepare for our next war. And with that said, we also have some, uh, sorry, still have some claims to do to do on, uh, on Scandinavia. So, let's just see here. What else do I want? Best of land, perhaps? Do I already have a... There we go, I can probably claim now. Basically, I'm going to eat Sweden part of Scandinavia first, and then we're going after the Danish part. But, uh, for the time being, we also have England, to, of course. But, uh, as I said, we're going to wait until we can get those two first uh, administrative ideas here. Organized mercenary uh, payments. Mercenary cost minus 25%. And once we get the next one, the coin costs are going to be a lot cheaper too. Uh, so with that said, we might want to just start the war, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I have the claims that I need, in terms of England and Scandinavia mostly. No, I don't. I need one on... Uh, <laughs> this is my bad, this is embarrassing. Uh, I need one with uh, on Helsing Land. Then we can declare war. Probably one on Halland too. I need two more claims, and then we can declare war. Start with uh, with the war here. Scandinavia, last time I checked, was just valid with England and Magdeburg. They're still. England is allied with uh, Scandinavia, East Frisia, Gelder and Utrecht. So they do have uh, a tiny bit of... Uh, well kind of a strong alliance backing them up, but not anything we can't handle, uh, right? I hope. Uh, but anyways, it should be fine. Uh, the main concern is that I'm building a fleet, so it could get hurt. Pretty severely, actually. But it seems like it's fine, uh, especially if you consider the amount of full, or fleet that was just finished. So I think it will be pretty much fine. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's basically half done. It's just missing the heavy ships. So, I'll be fabricating the two more provinces that I need in terms of Scandinavia, and then we'll go for the war. And that should also give me enough time to uh, to create the uh, to create the uh, the admin points, or to gain, if you will, the admin points that I need to actually pull this off. Now, this is going to be expensive, yes. That's a little bit more than I can, I can chew. Uh, the funny thing, I can actually withstand a deficit for 30 years. Sorry, not 30, 20, 25. So that's not too much of a problem. Oh, do you want to see him portray Medicus or do you want to play for, play for his life? Now, Charles himself isn't too bad. He's 125. He's military focused, which makes him actually horrible because I need an admin ruler. So we're going to pray for his life. The no legal heir will actually hand a succession war between Austria and France. This could be hilarious, to be perfectly honest. Uh, he's 38, though. I should be fine, but why am I getting that between Austria? Do not do we still have a royal marriage? Did they claim my throne? Huh. I'll have to defend myself, it looks like. Well, not really much I can do about that. We will be taking the military idea, though. The old and infirm. Which will actually bring me into a positive balance again. Because we get minus 10 to lane mon main uh, land maintenance modifier. They're cheaper now. Which is good. Uh, but again, I'm really concerned about my war with uh, what well, will be Scandinavia. Because I'm a little bit unsure how I want to handle this. Scandinavia has a 34th man army, so they're not chumps, if you will. They do know what they're doing. We have the same tech. Both wise, they are probably a little bit more powerful. Do I want to just fetch this fleet? I think I do. We'll basically just join together the entire fleet and use that to just, well, well, uh, backstomp Scandinavia. So I'll just go ahead and get the last claim on uh, on the Scandinavia fabricated, and then we'll go ahead and declare war, and we'll figure out how we want to handle these things. Well, Milan just decided to declare war on the Popery. They are allied with Bavaria, Austri Austrian Liege. Austria has already rebuilt, but in terms of what Austria can do, they are still out of manpower, most of their army is purely mercenaries. But to be perfectly honest, I can't really I don't really want to do this on my own. Especially not when I've already set myself up for another war. And Milan is a nice ally, but they're not really that important anymore. And to be perfectly honest, if they break here, they're going to be better off than we are. I have no idea why they declare war on uh, Milan though, or on the Pope. They have using conquest and are actually going after the provinces that I want to hand over to to Genoa anyways. So we'll decline that. Again, it's not a too big of a deal, to be perfectly honest. I uh, 
I'm not too concerned. It was just an alliance too, so it all counts. That might have been my relation. All in all, it's not too much of a loss, actually. Uh, but I'll go ahead and also fabricate the last claim, and then we'll see what we want to do with uh, the problem. That is the uh, Scandinavian and English war. We'll see how that turns out. There we go, the final uh, claim has just been completed, and with this we have the claims to the problems that we want to take in Scandinavia and England. And with that said, we are going to declare war here. The goal will be to declare war in England, and we're going to bring in Scandinavia as a global regent. Because I'm pretty sure we will be able to end uh, Scandinavia quicker than anything else here, and as I said, Scandinavia will be called in as co-belligerent, so they will not be too much in trouble. Jax will be the uh, sole charger, and the English general is a 3 through 3 so it's not to be taken lightly, but it's not a big threat on its own either, which should be fine. It's Frisia, Galera, Utrecht, and Scandinavia itself. Not really that threatening, uh, to be perfectly honest, and we'll block. If I'm lucky, I might actually be able to block uh, the English army was just completely wiped out. Siege to land on your way, please. And that should put us also in a very dominating position in the future here. But yeah, the goal here will be to most likely block the Scandinavian fleet as much as possible. But this will also allow me to siege the... Uh, can I actually trap the 34,000 Scandinavian army on the island? I can, can't I? Can I get there in time? I did. Now... Which we'll get over first. There we go. Trapped. Boom. <laughs> that was easier than I anticipated. <laughs> Utrecht works very, very quickly. I'll give him that. Uh, let's split you guys in two uh, once you get there. And I'll send one to Skorna and one to the... Uh, one to Smallland. And that should allow me to get everything I want here. Oh, I actually have to... Well, wait, because land movement is blocked by Holstein Fort. Shouldn't be too much of a problem though. We also have war with England, of course, and the goal with the England war is pretty straightforward. Take their take their colonies, if you will, which is pretty straightforward and simple. So I'll just start the sieges and we'll see how things turn out. England is not very rich here. Uh fort defense luck, power of objection, increased defensive. Wow, they are definitely defensive, but I have no idea how well that will actually help them in the long run. But uh, we'll see. The, the goal of this was just to conquer Oxfordshire, so Again, it's not a big deal per se, and I'll just use the remaining area around here. Now we'll send you guys to actually jump to help in Trendelag. As long as we keep the uh, the Scandinavian army, <coughs> excuse me. As long as we keep the Scandinavian army trapped, it doesn't really matter too much, anyways. So I don't really have too many too many concerns on the well on the situation if you will. So for now we'll just focus on sieging and we'll see how things turn out. And the bigger battles will be shown but it's very doubtful. And uh, worst case scenario here is that I'll just have to move my fleet around and uh, and juggle, well, it around to get the results that I'm after. So all in all it should be very straightforward, very easy. We also take an adaptability. The corporation costs minus 25% which will be very helpful in the long run in terms of uh, not paying incredibly expensive sums for, well, taking the land. So, um, in terms of England, they're basically done already. And, of course, we'll be going after the colonies as soon as we uh, finish things here. So, we'll see how that turns out. I'll continue the sieges, as I said, and we'll see how things turn out. Well, can't complain. New air, 641. Six admin, perfect, can conquer a lot. Uh, one military, could pose us problems, especially considering that we are working with a quantity idea sat here, but with six um, admin I can definitely perhaps change over the national focus should we get in trouble. So it's not too crappy. The worst fear here now is the Regents Council, which is very, very likely, but it will be hopefully a very short one. And if not, worst case scenario, I can just focus on taking up. So no matter what happens, it's not the end of the time or end of whatever. We will most Likely it'll be fine. Please don't go there. I should really go down to four speed on the on the wall here. But uh, yeah, we will focus on this next time. The war is over. We have trapped the Scandinavian army, which I find hilarious. And uh, we'll see how things turn out next time. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like. And I'll see you around next time. Bye.